very short compared to you. But you are short. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we are. It is time. We are at. Uh, we are. We, we are. are. We are at Luton Airport uh, for our holly bobs. Yeah, so we're going to uh, Tenerife. Yes. Um, I think this has been on our list for a while, but we never got round to going here. Yeah. Um, so I'm quite excited that we're going now. Me too. And we've had a lot of cancellations for other breaks due to yeah. COVID. So we had easy get vouchers to use, which is why we're here on this wonderful, by the start of what's hopefully going to be a wonderful holiday. Yeah. We've just come from the Midstay car park at Luton um, on the website. So I, I am stinky, like I'm not going to lie. You're probably thinking you're going to splurge on this holiday, but you won't pay five pounds for drop off. You're correct. I'm not going to do that because it's 10 minutes for the short stay uh, for a drop off. So for five pounds for 10 minutes or which is 350 meters from the airport. Or if you go to the Midstay, it's 15 minutes for free and it's 600 meters from the airport. So yeah. We, we got a bit of exercise in already this morning. I would say if you're not as able-bodied, maybe don't do it because it is on a bit of an incline, but actually the walk wasn't terrible. I think it's just because it's a bit hot today, we're a bit like... Ugh. I think so, I think because <laughs> you're carrying heavy bag, it's yeah. more of a burden really. But, you know, it is what it is. We'll probably get picked up from there as well because again, I just wasn't paying five pounds for yeah. the sake of getting picked up. <laughs> no, makes sense. If you agree, I'd, I'd love for you to let us know. Or is that just me being really stinky? <laughs> well, well, we'll see. <laughs> Point below. Yes, but we're going to head through Luton now, check in, hopefully get, I say some breakfast, it's late morning, so maybe more some brunch, maybe have a kiki drink, um, and just have a mooch around the airport. We're yeah. going to let you know how long it takes from, I guess, now until we're through customs, because you've probably seen in the news there's a lot of issues with airports and airlines and all of that. It doesn't look too busy at the moment, so no. I'm, I'm curious to see if we have any pain. The flight yeah. is on, on time, fingers crossed, and it stays that way. Yeah. But let's check in. Let's check in. Come on. <laughs> no, we're in a sunny Tenerife now. Tenerife? Tenerife. Tenerife. <laughs> I can't speak. Yes, it's not long after 8 o'clock in the evening, so I think when we last spoke to you it was about 5 to 11. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we did intend to speak beforehand, but um, Bluton was really busy. We ended up going in and getting some food at uh, Frankie and Benny's. Yeah. Ellie was obviously uh, not impressed. Yeah, I mean, should we, should we sort of start from the beginning? Yeah, I'm going way ahead. <laughs> but yeah, um, he's right. And um, it, I don't know how people vlog in airports because it's loud, it's crazy. Like, can we go something? Nah, sod this. Yeah. So, but check in really easy. So they've got now scales for easy get in, in front of the check in stands to weigh your own luggage. And then they just dump it on the conveyor belt. Um, yeah. I think from check in until. We were through customs and you know like in the food duty court free, yeah. duty free about 20 minutes half hour yeah it was really quick i was quite surprised very like, smooth <laughs> i thought it was going to be a very long process and you know it's like everyone's like oh you know yeah. flights are being cancelled yeah. get there are, there were no issues no um I my, think, oh sorry <laughs> i was just gonna say i think the only thing that was a bit confusing obviously with ellie was saying about the uh, the check-in with the bags That's what I was gonna say too. um <laughs> People were just standing around and not sure what what yeah. you were doing with them once you got your label. So I think that could have been a bit signposted better. But other than that, it was really straightforward. Yeah. Um, and yeah, Frankie and Benny's, I mean, you know, like all airport restaurants, it's just a standard food. So yeah, you know, I didn't expect the world. But for the prices you pay at airports, I think your burger was like 16 50 Yeah. 
Um, we spent 39 quid in the end on one burger, two Cokes and two beers. Yeah. Um, it would have been more, but I actually ordered a kicking burger and it was, I, 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 we both were really uncomfortable complaining at restaurants and this is the first time I think ever that I've actually sent food back. The kicking was like rubber and like you could see as I was cutting through it and I took, you know when you take, oh, even thinking about it, it's making fun. Like, it just was, it was not nice. Um, and the server was really understanding. He took it off the bill, to be fair, so I can't yeah. knock it. But then I didn't eat, really, for the rest of the journey. So I've still not eat. I've had, like, Pringles and a Kit Kat. Because, uh, you know, when you have, like, that bit of minging food, it just sort of puts you off. Yeah. But it is what it is. The flight itself was a bit chaotic. There was a group of lids, 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 <laughs> lids on there. Oh, I don't know, was it a stag party? It was something. It yeah, was it was a stag day. party, and it was constant noise throughout the four and a half hours. So. <laughs> it was, look, I. it was funny for about ten minutes, and then afterwards it was like, nah. And you could tell, like, this, like... The um, air hosts and hostesses were getting a bit frustrated with it as yeah. well because they, they were just annoying and disruptive, but to the point where, like, it's not funny anymore. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I've got, like, I know we sound like some old fogies saying that. I've got no wrong with being pissed, as you know. And if you've seen our other vlogs, I have no problem with that. But just don't be a nuisance. Yeah, exactly. And then getting off again, the plane was super easy. Um, passport control was really easy. They didn't check my COVID pass, but they kept yours. Yeah, I'm guessing they, they won't check everyone's, maybe. Maybe it's like a, a random thing, so they check one in five or one in or something. Yeah. But it, again, it was really easy. You just scan your barcode and you just straight through. The only thing that took a while was the coach, the transfers, because you obviously have to wait for like a number of people to get off flights to get on the transfer. So I think we landed about 10 past six. I must have got to the coach for at least like latest half six. We didn't take off. I mean, what, it's like after eight now, so we must have not taken off till like way after seven and a half, seven quarters. Yeah, yeah. The coach was in air conditioned either. It was a bit of a breeze, luckily, but it's, you know, it's just hot and busy and all that madness, especially when the hotel's only a 15 minute drive. So hindsight's a funny thing. Maybe we'd have just organized our own transfers if we realized how close it was. Yeah, no, I agree. But we're here now and we're hungry. We're ready for a stiff drink, I think. Yeah. Overall, the journey was right, wasn't it, really? Yeah. Like, you can't complain given all the, the news about travel at the minute. In terms of COVID restrictions, it is uh, public transport, um, pharmacies and medical facilities yeah that you have to wear a mask everything else is just as normal yeah. i think so so far so good yeah. um we are staying <laughs> so as the coach was going round, it was stopping at all these nice four or five star hotels and then it stopped at our little two-star hotel it's an adults only hotel in um playa de las americas um and it looks all right so far it's, yeah it's i mean we do the job i think yeah. it's clean yeah exactly i don't think we've had a proper look round yet but what we have seen so far it seems it will do what we need it to do yeah. and it's close to a few bars and a rest um restaurants and some supermarkets so it's a great location there's yeah. two there's a beach sort of this one i mean geography but there's a beach like in one direction about 10 minute walk and then there's one about 15 minute walk and like rich said we've got like a sports bar next door so i think we're going to be good yeah. but with that i think i'm going to get changed because i'm up and just have a time out <laughs> but then we're going to go get some food and drink we're going to take you around a bit of the resort i mean it's hard to say it's a resort there's a, a pool yeah and a room so we'll show you our room have a glimpse of the pool on our way out and then yeah. let's go to a spanish supermarket and get some treats for tonight let's go so we actually have a really nice balcony area um again we always saw mixed reviews for this place like you do with a lot of things online nice little clothes rack but look there's loads of space out here so i think we're going to chill out over some drinks later this evening I've got a television <laughs> i am trying to find to turn it on oh <laughs> So I, I'm assuming that might pull out into a double bed, this little sofa. But the room looks pretty newly renovated. I, heard, I think, I'm pretty sure I read some reviews that some had been um, renovated. So we've got two singles. Doesn't bother us. Got a little seating area as well. Excuse my minging hair bubble. So this is where we're staying again. Um, so the pool. Uh, yeah, 10 till 6, snack bar 10 till 8. So there doesn't really seem to be like a, a bar as such. And we'll show you a little bit on the way out. Nice big wardrobe. I'm assuming this is a wardrobe. Yeah. Got a safe. I think safe was 15 euros, but we've got our own padlock and everything. So we might not use that. And then the kitchen area. So it's right, right by the door, which is a bit of a weird layout. But again, 
plenty. Oh, they've got a coffee pot as well. Richard, they've got a coffee pot. Mm. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of amenities here, it seems. They've got the standard stuff to to cook and eat a little bit. I've got bin. Um, a little hob there. And your cutlery. And I've got a little bathroom here. Only a dinky little thing. Hello. Um, oh, hair dryer. That's nice. Yeah, I mean, you know what a bathroom looks like. I've got a shower. Um, that's my flip flop squeaking. <laughs> yeah, it's an alright, isn't it? What do you think? Yeah, I think what we've got so far, I've certainly the we looked in is pretty good. <laughs> Although, one thing, there's no air conditioning. We've just got the fan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already hot now, I'm sweating. I can't see your face, you're just like a dark, leering shadow. <laughs> but, yeah, welcome to our room. This is our home for the next week and I think it's time for snacks and a drink because I am gasping. Just come out of our room and this is how close we are to the pool. Cacao! Only a little one but again it's gonna suit us for the week hey. Yeah, I think it'd be nice. Oh you didn't get clean trick? You're not gonna be hot? I don't know, I've got changed them to be fair. Vest? Oh yeah, I think we got it. It's a shame the pool closes at six because it's, it's still pretty warm. I think it's still about 24 degrees. I'd go for an evening swim. Yeah, me too. I don't Is like the fact... Then? Well, apparently it closes at six. Oh. I don't like the fact that there's still towels on lounges. So hopefully it's not that horrible mad rush. Yeah, me too. So this is where, I guess you could call it the mini bar for the pool. Um, look, it's only dinky. I mean, it's sort of like half the reception as well, so... Yeah, so as you go in, <laughs> just through here. But it's all good. I was reading this as you were checking in, I thought it was... Oh my gosh, Richard. I thought it was really interesting that... It's a green and smart hotel. Oh. Richard was just more interested in the windmill itself. <laughs> So I think if we go out this door here, you can hear my flip flops squeaking. Yeah, Good old Primark flip flops. How long do you give it before my feet start hurting? Um, quite <laughs> And then we've got the pineapple trees. They're not actually pineapple trees, but they look like pineapples, tall pineapples. I mean, some of them look a bit more like pineapples than others. Right? So we're just taking you for a scenic walk. I'll say around player. We're not walking around player as a as a whole. Um, no, we're literally crossing the road to Super Dino. Yeah, we're going to Super Dino, but again, we've got bars here. Oi, oi! Bought the bottle of Smirnoff. It's not a bad price at all, is it? Three euros. That average, I think. Yeah, I think so. So if you look, we've got plenty along here. But I think we're going to go for a drink anyway. So we'll take you with us. But first and foremost, time to get some stuff for the fridge in Super Dino. Let's see what goods we can find. Because I think we're going to get some bits for like breakfast and that as well, so we're not eating out every day. No, I agree. Bimbo. Bimbo, good dog, Bimbo. And it's crustless. Yeah, it's my type of fridge. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this. You're right there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at the little mini croissants. I hope not for some fresh pastries. Me too. Mini donuts. Oh, ham. Lots of hams and meat. That looks like bologna. It does look like bologna. <laughs> no. Penis Oreo. I know what that tastes like. Oh, Starbucks. Oh, have you seen the cheese lovers hot dogs? That is the strangest <laughs> thing I've seen. I'll try it though. No? I think so. I've got lemon coke. But it's Coke Zero as well. Ooh. I know. It's 78 so cents. Yeah, it's not a bad price at all. I've got other. Oh my gosh. Wicked. Watermelon Fanta. Stop here, we've got to get that. Yeah. You got the mojito, um... I like that one, the 7-Up. Yeah. Fanta lemon, typical holiday drink. Oh, 
already got their own iced tea as well. Love a bit of that. Trust you to look at the energy drinks. Anything interesting? Well, just a normal one. <laughs> but it's only one, 105, which is... It's not bad. Probably cheaper than uh, what we get at home, so... Yeah, true. Have you seen, like, the fizzy... It looks like it's fizzy melon. Yeah, it looks. You get a free cup. Or chili Doritos. I mean, it must have been, the Doritos are quite expensive. How much are they? Oh, yeah, two years, 20. Although the Tex-Mex ones are only 150. I'm assuming they're just cheese ones. Probably. Takis? I'm not really... If, bothered about these. I've tried like once. Yeah, I'm not that fast either. Got some bread. Oh, okay. Why? What is it with you and freebies? It's not free because you're paying for the beers. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see it, but past these trees in the background is a massive mountain. It looks very spooky because it's, it's being covered by the clouds. You might see it a little bit further, but as we're walking from the uh, supermarket, just literally a few, few meters or whatever, there's another, there's an Irish bar, there's a Chinese oh, yeah. restaurant, a steakhouse. It's just so much around this area, which is really useful for us because we haven't got a car, so no. we don't have to go out finding this stuff it's just on our doorstep like you only just got that proper like, holiday feeling right now like i'm just taking it all in it feels so good to be obviously we've had holidays and which we're, we're lucky to have had but it's a different this, yeah, different it's, type of holiday isn't it it's lovely so why, why are we going now um is it strong? It is very true. I mean, at least I get my money's worth. This is true, and you got purple rain, didn't you? Yeah. I got a peach daiquiri. Look at that deliciousness. So we've just stopped off for somewhere for food. Um, I don't, I can't even remember the name, but just I can, I can read it. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> so. Just round the corner from the hotel. So I think. We're just going to have a quick bite to eat and then chill out because we've got a busy day tomorrow and it's been a long day today as well, isn't it? Yes, I totally agree. But, you know, it would have been rude not to at least get a co cocktail to start the holiday off. So, oh, look, I'm taking it with me. Cheers. <laughs> so we went for an easy keep option. I got a margarita pizza, which is, I think it's about eight euros 50. And Richard got pepperoni pizza. We did get a of garlic bread, but we were so hungry, we started eating already. I mean, Richard's already getting ready to eat, so he's probably hating me for filming <laughs> because he's ready to tuck in. But yeah, just wanted to show you our dinner. You may, you may eat. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. We left you a bit early last night as we were pooped. <laughs> yeah, I think, um, what did we last day? We did the, um, the food, didn't we? Yeah, what was it? Ilili? Yeah, I the still... restaurant was called, I think. I still um, can't pronounce it. It was like I L I L I. I. Yeah. Was there another row? I can't remember. Yeah. Delicious. The pizza, I think because we were so hungry anyway, the pizza was so good. And in comparison to that Naf Frankie and Benny's, we spent just under, I think about the same, about 38, 39 euros. Well, pounds, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, and we had two tasty pizzas, really nice cheesy garlic bread and a cocktail league. So yeah, that's great. I really enjoyed the food and the uh, the cocktails. Like they were very strong. So I guess it's one of those things that you're glad that it's strong because you know it actually has a lot of alcohol in it. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not like cheap ones that filled up with all water and ice and that. It's, you get your money's worth. I'm not quite drunk, I think. Well, if I'm paying eight euros for a cocktail, I want my money as well. This is very true. <laughs> um, so yeah, that that was our travel day. Um, the beds were pretty comfy. Um, it was it was warm, as I said. The room doesn't have aircon, so um, it did get quite warm. But we've got a ceiling fan, and I think once you relax, like I had a cold shower before bed, and yeah. we sat on the balcony. So once you relax a bit, like you adjust but you can see from our red face it's already quite warm this morning apparently it's only 21 degrees but it's like that dry heat yeah so i'm yeah. just a bit up 
But with that, that was our travel day. We hope you enjoyed flying to Tenerife with us. Uh, yeah. We are off to Siam Park today, so be sure you like and subscribe to our channel um, because we'll be doing a vlog of Siam Park as well. So yes. stay tuned for that, and we'll see you again soon. See ya. Bye. Bye.